Hensler. Captain America and Sharon Carter's romance was divisive for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and she Hulk. Attorney at law proves not even Marvel wants to remember it. Throughout most of Steve Rogers' MCU story, his love of Peggy Carter was a defining characteristic. This included Avengers, Endgame solidifying the idea that Captain America always wanted to grow old with Peggy, which is what he did then after returning the Infinity Stones. Their ending together was nearly perfect, and even as Marvel has confirmed Captain America was not a virgin, they are ignoring an awkward part of Steve's romantic past. For as much as Peggy Carter was Captain America's one true love, the only other romantic interest he received in the movies was Sharon Carter, the great niece of Peggy. He was not aware of her connection to Peggy when he first became interested, but their relationship did take a step forward in Captain America, Civil War, even after Steve found out that Sharon and Peggy are related. Steve and Sharon's relationship became controversial in the years that followed, which could be part of the reason why Marvel never developed their connection further. Marvel has now subtly proven they do not want to remind viewers of the awkward romance. She-Hulk Episode 1 features a running joke about Captain America's virginity that ends in the post-credits with Smart Hulk confirming that Steve lost his virginity in 1943 to a mystery girl on the USO tour. Before this reveal takes place, there is art throughout the credits that shows Jennifer Walters' attempt to track Captain America's romantic interests. Peggy Carter is on the board, as well as a USO girl and a mystery card. It is quite notable that Sharon Carter is not even mentioned throughout the debate, 